Hey. Mulu Muni line was sentenced, just sure, some are breaking out of prison. Hey. Cause I be the girl, see my bass all west, but I know they talk Jeezy. Hey. I lose some friends to my boys, they my back like I borrowed them a Jesse. Hey. I did rap basa, but like a Real Madrid coach, I know they show Messi. Hey. Okay, my first lesson. Before you can break the rules, you have to learn the rules. And today, we are going to talk about these topics. The first one is who this tuition is for. What is HTML? What is CSS? The materials you need to create your own HTML page. My first HTML page. Then the instructions or the guidelines to follow to create your own HTML page. Who this, who this tutorial is for? So this tutorial is for serious learners, those who are serious about developing their own websites. Then students who want to get ahead in class, there are students who want to pass their exams and get good grades so they can get good jobs. And it's also for entrepreneurs who want to make a business out of web development. For instance, Jumia makes 10% of any products they sell. And I'm sure they make a huge amount of money from Google AdSense as well. Then we have employees who want new skills for promotion. Then anyone in development, anyone interested in developing their own websites. So HTML, HTML means hypertext markup language. It's not a programming language, it's just a markup language. Meaning you can't use it to hack. You can't use it to hack. You can't use it to send messages alone but when you add another programming language to the html like javascript that's when you can use it to send messages you can use it to create fancy websites and so on it's the language of the internet and all websites all websites are made of html then we have the web browsers so the web browsers converts the language of the computer to the ones readable by humans. So the HTML is the codes. They are the codes that the computer understands. But for the web browsers, I prefer you rather use Mozilla Firefox or Chrome. Yeah, Chrome and Mozilla Firefox because you can view page source when we start, you see everything. Then the text editors, which is the notepad, which is most commonly used notepad. But now, for Windows users like me, I use Notepad++, which is free. So you can go to notepad++.com and get the Notepad++ for free. You just look at your computer requirements and download the one which suits you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Find the move, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 This is the Notepad Plus Plus. This is like Notepad that converts. So here's where we type the codes. So after we type the codes, the web browser translate the codes into the ones which is readable by humans so here's where we type the code first of all we look at tags so anytime we open a tag we have to close it so the tag open tag is the greater than sign and the less than sign and when we are closing it we put a, a backslash in the middle so we open the first tag which is the HTML so you have to close it which is HTML so HTML open tag HTML close tag so after we open the HTML you have to give it a head then after the head the body yes so basically all websites are made from this this is the basics for developing your own websites no websites doesn't have this when you are developing your own website you start with these 
tax. So let's take a look at this. In the title, let's see, I want my title to be personals. Yeah, personals. You open a tag, which is the title tag, then we close it. Every time you open a tag, we close it. Though there are some other lines of code which is different. But for now, anytime you open a tag, we close it. Yeah, so we make the title personals. After that, we press Ctrl S on the keyboard or we save it. Then we save the file name as index.html because it's an HTML file. Then the save as type, we select hypertext markup language, which is HTML. So when we launch or when we run, when we run it in the browser, this is what appears. And we have the personals written at the left, left top corner of our web browser. So right now I want to put something in the body. So in the body, we type this is my first HTML page. So we save it again by clicking on save or typing Ctrl S on the keyboard. So when we run it and we refresh our web browser that's what we get yes so in our next tutorials we edit the text on the HTML on the HTML page and we see the changes in the web browser don't forget to subscribe